So for today, we're going to be looking at the Anthemic Invocation for the Hunters. If you guys don't know, we already did the review video. It's right here. You can check it out. And the Shader video, both right here. So basically, we look at how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts, and overall just like really just an analysis of the armor and then the shader video which we go through my favorite shaders because going through all of them takes way too long i've legitimately fallen asleep before and then after we're done with those two we get started on the class specific videos so if you guys like the video look like comment subscribe really does help hit the bell notification to keep up with my current content because i do think my content is worth it other than that let's get into it so to start off, we're going to be using the helmet and this one is interesting because it actually kind of snuck up on me how much I actually like this. So for this one, we're going for a an Awoken look more like for me, it kind of reminds me like a, of an Awoken, uh, like uh, not wizard, but whatever they're called, they're uh, they're magic people. But I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, the I think the best pieces obviously are going to be the Techian pieces with the Anthemic Invocation, specifically the Techian Regalia Vest and Cloak. I think both of them with each other look really good with this helmet. For the Arms Grips of the Great Hunt, and then for the boots, it's going to be Speed Loader Slacks. So, specifically the Speed Loader Slacks, just because I feel like it's very neutral to the point where it can actually go with a lot of sets. So, I feel like this one is going to be like this specific exotic is going to be really good if you need an exotic boot or just boot in general that is super like ambiguous to the point where it's like it'll look good with multiple sets because i do think this looks really really good with everything else that being said i would not fault you if you wanted to use something else but the uh, i think the other good piece would and i was thinking about using it would be the um oath keepers i think the ones that uh give you more or you can hold your bow indefinitely i think they're the oh, oath keepers i don't have them on my den because i don't have one apparently which is wild but I definitely think this one is not the best because I think the next one is the best, but this one is definitely up there and I'm just really happy that I gave the helmet a chance because the cloak is not in this video. Like I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. That, that cloak is not in this video. So if you were wanting to see me use it, that's a big no dog. As for the next set, we're gonna be using the Van Braces, the arms. I think these are amazing, and the set that I made for it is fucking amazing. So for the helmet, we're gonna be using Mask of Backers with the Beastly Visage Visage ornament. For the chest piece, Megalomorph Vest with the Aphotic Strides, and then Cloak of the Taken King. So for the shadering, we're using Canis Coat for everything but the cloak because the cloak obviously has problems i say obviously because i've made a video on the taken king set which it's right here if you guys want to check it out but this one has an overglow or a glow over the armor of all of it so that's why i say it's a problem but if you want to combine certain pieces just know that mad monk is pretty good because it does give a black look to it and no glow the only problem is there is a crown at the very middle of the of the cloak and that one has like almost not a bro like a like a gold bronze color so just be aware of that but the canis coat i think looks amazing with all of this and it hides the off colors because this one does have a lot of off colors because the anthemic invocation has the off colors on the actual shoulder pauldrons and then the aphotics have it on the actual like calves so this one hides it really really well and i definitely think this is the best one just because it looks so good like honestly this is probably the best Mask of Backers look that I've made. And that's hard to say considering one of my favorite looks that I made for Mask of Backers is the Fallen themed one. But it's so hard to ignore just how amazing this one looks. Let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, it's going to be the opposite. So we're going to be using the Aphotic Grips with the Anthemic Leg Guards. And I do think these, like, these pieces are going to be really good for each other for the Hunter specifically. Just because... There is, a, there is quite a bit of off colors in the arms and the boots to the point where it kind of like equals it out, which is why I think this looks amazing. So for the helmet, Megalomorph Mask, for the clo the cloak is going to be the Aphotic Cloak as well. So this one is really, really cool because it gives me that like almost like a underwater spider kind of thing, which I think looks pretty cool. For the chest piece, we're going to be using Omnioculus with the Leering Marrow ornament. So just to kind of like make it look even more alien. And I think the Aphotic is going to be really good for this because it's going to give that aquatic look a lot better. That being said, I would probably try to get the the like glow to be more of a, a blue. I think a blue would have been way better. 
But the other problem with that is the fact that the Aphotic's uh, arms, the spiky bits on the shoulder actually have that glow as well. So you would have been fighting that if you wanted to keep continuing Alloy, which is a shader we're using. So I definitely like this one a lot. Um, this is not the L of the group because I think the next one is kind of the L of the group. To be fair though, all of these have been so good. So let me know what you guys think. And then last but not least, we have, again, the boots, because I, like I said, I'm not going to be using the cloak. I think the cloak is absolutely terrible. For the Helmet Abyss Walker Mask is what we're using. For the arms, we're actually going to be using Shards of Galanor with Death Wish Ornament. For the chest piece, we're going to be using Megalomorph again with the boots. And then for the cloak, Polar Par uh, Polar Predator's Cloak. So this one, honestly, I had really no, no, like idea of what i wanted to go in with so i was just kind of like mixing things here and there and i really liked abyss walker a lot i was like i want to use this with the boots because i feel like they look really good together and the megalomorph vest with the shards of galanor i think look pretty cool together if i were to change anything from this it would actually be the anthemic boots just because they're a little bit too not heavy but wide Compared to the arms, the arms is very slim and very just like uh, very slim and the boots are not. Um, you have the wing on the side of the ankles and you have a lot of armor there. So I think the best choice for this one would be just to switch out the boots for something else that's a little bit more sleek. And I feel like that would be a lot better. Um, or you can just switch out the arms for something else and then use uh, Celestial Nighthawk. So that way you can go for almost like a like a bird look. I think that would be really cool. But let me know what you guys think. I definitely think. The first two are really, really good with the second one probably being my favorite. Third one's pretty cool. I feel I feel like the fourth one still has a little work to do. Like, I feel like I still need to go back into it because I'm not saying it's terrible. It looks really cool. And for that shader specifically, we used it welded brass because the eyebrows of Abyss Walker unfortunately doesn't change colors. So I wanted to just lean into the purple. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Hunters, did I do you guys justice? Let me know in the comments below. Again, we're going to be working through all of the armor that I've gotten. So right now we're doing the seasonal ornament and thankfully we already got, or I already got all of the armor for Crota. So that's the next one we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna try to do it as fast as I can because one of my clan mates wants to see that video. And I kind of want to make that video fast so that way we can have access to all of the other videos that I really want to do because we have a lot of um, more talking videos. So like you can definitely like switch it, switch it off of your like, whatever you're using to watch the video and then just like play play something so like more like a conversational piece because i definitely think there's a lot to talk about in destiny 2 right now um we're also going to be looking at the twap not all of it but we're going to talk about the who won with the wizard looks and i'm not even surprised with some of these but we're going to talk about it i'm going to give my opinions on it and some thoughts as well and yeah let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later